What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to overclock your controller on PC. This will make your response time on your controller like one millisecond, whereas usually with a USB, um, like you're gonna to have to use on a uh, PC, of course, um, it's usually like a five millisecond. So this will get it down to one millisecond and it'll just be a little bit more responsive by like about four milliseconds. Um, so let's get right to it. But first, make sure you do use code Squidly at controlfreak.com. Get yourself a new pair of control freaks help support the channel and they are a really great product in addition to your controller. All right guys, so to overclock your controller, it's really simple. I will have a link to this in the description. It'll take you right to this page and then all you wanna do is click it download right here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll zoom in on it so you know where it's at. Um, but once you download that, drag it to your desktop or wherever um, and you want to go here and you wanna extract this and we're just gonna extract it right to my desktop. So here we go, and then it opened up right here. Um, and then from here, you're going to want to go to driver, and then you want to go to uh, setup.exe, open that up, like yes, and make sure your uh, controller is plugged in um, to your PC, of course, at this point, just like normal. And then you wanna go to devices, and just go ahead and go to all. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna look for is game controller. As you can see, mine's right here. Um, now I've already done this, that's why it says yes filter, 1000 rate and one interval. Okay, so I've just reset mine. So what you want to do is click game controller, make sure you are selected on your controller. You want to click install service, run. Then let me drag this over here so you can see it. I uh, want to click open. And then once you do that, you want to come over here and click rate, or actually I don't think it matters where you click, but I just click on the rate. We go down here to default, change it to 1000. Uh, click install service, run. Again, I got to drag it over so you can see it. Open. Uh, and then finally, you want to click filter on this device, uh, install service, run, and open. Um, and then what you want to do, it should say yes under filter, 1000 rate, but it'll still have the five millisecond interval. But if you unplug your controller, wait like, you know, a couple seconds, plug it back in, and boom, now you have filter on yes, rate 1000, and your interval should be one. And that's it, your controller is always going to be overclocked, so... Uh, that's how you do it. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. That's gonna do it for me today, and I'll see you guys next time.